to the other story we've been tracking of how a Pakistani journalist has been put under a watch list. Now, this watch list is usually used for criminals so that they, the government knows when they're traveling out of the country. But Cyril Almeida, who is a senior journalist with Pakistan's Dawn newspaper, was put under this watch list yesterday by the Sharif government. Uh, he had uh, reported saying, uh, on the report he had said that act against militants or face international isolation, civilians tell military. That was the report that he had come out with. And now he said, I'm concerned, possibly convinced, more than 24 hours after the travel ban was imposed that the government is planning to take further uglier action. So Cyril Almeida is seeing support also coming not only from the Pakistani journalistic community but also from across the world and the United States which has now uh, raised questions over the freedom of the press. The U.S. State Department spokesperson John Kirby in an interview expressed concern over journalist situation in Pakistan. Take a listen. First of all, I'm aware of the reports of restrictions on Mr. Almeida's travel. I would refer you to the government of Pakistan for information on that. Um, on press freedom, it's obviously an issue that we continue to raise regularly with the government of Pakistan, including our concerns about the difficulties and the dangers that journalists face there. Uh, we're concerned about any efforts to limit press freedom or the ability of journalists to conduct their very, very important. So, well, uh, for now, Dawn uh, newspaper has stood by its scribe saying Pakistan's press is vibrant, but rights activists have also said uh, that reporting on national security issues is uh, heavily controlled. Interestingly, you have Pakistan ranking 147 out of 179 countries on Reporters Without Borders uh, World Press Freedom in Index. We have uh, Farzana Bari, who's a human rights activist, joining us from Pakistan. Uh, Ms. Bari, good morning and thank you for speaking uh, to India today. How are you seeing the Sharif government's attempt to muzzle Pakistani journalist who has uh, reported uh, a rift between the Pakistani army and uh, the establishment. I think it's just an overreaction on the part of the government. I we don't think that uh, even what has been come out, you know, uh, what Serial wrote is nothing uh, which is kind of new. I think Pakistan uh, it is a it is an open kind of a common knowledge that mm, within this. You know, like the, the the states within the state kind of a situation, which um, I think the government itself is addressing that. So um, this is nothing new, which could um, you know um, um, have have sort of uh, um, um, invoke this such such a such a reaction because Pakistani media is uh, very uh, free, very open, and I think this is what we take always a pr uh, uh, pride in that that. Uh, despite you, or, you don't know whatever the, um, uh, the uh, this is one indicator of kind of a uh, democracy uh, which Pakistan um, is experiencing, and I think the media's uh, freedom of media, which Pakistani media enjoy, is something which makes us very proud. Well, well Ms. Bari, um, Ms. Bari, I just want to understand also one thing, uh, because is this the first time that a journalist has been put under exit control list? Because you've already had reports of at least 59 journalists who've been killed in targeted attacks since 1992. But from the government, there's uh, not been this kind of media muzzling that we've seen on a Pakistan uh, journalist. Yeah, I think um, uh, of, um, uh, this sort of uh, uh, journalist and especially somebody um, who is quite uh, well respected as a journalist and also the newspaper Dawn, which is seems to which is also quite well respected. So it hasn't happened uh, before. But um, uh, yeah, as you mentioned, I think the violence, uh, this whole um, uh, tide of violence yes. against. Um, um, against journalists and all that, that is that has been there, that has been a matter of concern in Pakistan. Um, uh, but um, I think this situation, um, uh, especially this, uh, um, having the putting her on the e uh, putting him on the ECL, I think that that is uh, something which has been. Uh, widely uh, condemned uh, by the human rights. Absolutely, Ms. Bari. Absolutely, Ms. Bari. You also have the United States uh, raising a red flag and expressing concern over the press freedom uh, in Pakistan. Thanks for joining us uh, for the moment, keeping a close eye on the story. Have to take a very short break.